Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hello and welcome to the December 13th edition of Basis Loaded with Joe Schmidt. I am Joe Schmidt. This episode, as always, is produced by Paige Driscoll with the help of the EverAg Insights team. What we do here is break down the latest NDPSR report. Let's start this week with butter. This butter number coming in at 263.55 represents a plus three and a half to the CME one week average of 260. Now you'll remember that we have been running higher than normal basis in butter. This plus three and a half is a little closer to the historical average as the CME was up eight and a half cents, the NDPSR only able to gain a little over a penny. So we have contracting basis on the NDPSR, the NDPSR price relative to the CME price. We traded five loads at the CME last week. That volume really doesn't show up here on the NDPSR coming in just a little north of 3.3 million pounds. So a little bit under our expected three and a half million. What's interesting is the butter at the CME up eight and a half this week, up to 267 for the weekly average next week before falling all the way down to 246 today. So a little bit of a volatility in the butter complex, it's interesting at the CME, the spot butter price making a new low this week. So although butter prices are choppy, the trend looks to be heading lower. Up next is cheese. We'll start with the blocks, 165.78. That represents a plus six to the CME one week average of 159.33. The CME was down three. NDPSR didn't quite get that down three in, so we saw that expansion of basis up to plus six. So higher than expected basis, however, that high price came at a cost. Look at this volume. Almost four million pounds under our expected 12 and a half million coming in at 8.7 million. So disappointing volume. The manufacturer was able to achieve a nice price, ignoring the breaks at the CME, however, came at a cost. A cost of uh, four million pounds that are still sitting in some manufacturer's warehouse. We traded 16 loads at the CME last week. So that'll chip away at that inventory a little bit. However, it looks like in blocks, we have a higher than expected price on significantly lower than expected volume. In the barrel, 157.39. That is a plus nine to the CME two week average of 148.21. Now this is our low two week average at the CME. So we would expect higher than normal basis. Plus nine certainly qualifies. I for one was using 158 as this week's NDPSR guess. So it came in a little bit under my guess, a little bit of a disappointment price-wise. However, the opposite of the block complex here in the barrel, the manufacturer discounted and got it moved. Almost 14 and a half million pounds, almost a million pounds over our expected 13.5. So the manufacturer accepted a lower than expected price and was able to move a bunch of weight. Now a little bit of volatility in the CME barrel as well. We bounced off this low 40s level to run back to a mid 50-ish price before returning to sub 150s earlier this week. So a little bit of a chop here. However, the barrel market seems to be consolidating around that 150 level rather than continuing to trend lower. We'll see what they have in store for us in the weeks to come in way 41.83. That is two cents higher than the CME one week average of 39.92. The CME was down a penny and a half. No sign of way prices easing here, continuing higher once again. You'll remember, I thought that this November 25th number was going to be the high watermark for way. The way market continues to prove me wrong. Trending almost three quarters of a cent higher last week and then call it another half a cent higher this week. So the gains are 
becoming smaller. However, they are still gains. And what's interesting is this 4183, If again, if you look back to that November 25th number, able to gain almost 1.4 cents on the November 25th number. So the manufacturer able to call a premium and at that premium level was able to move 6.6 .6 million pounds away. So you can't underestimate the strength of this whey complex as dry whey is still moving at a significant premium to prior week's NDPSR. And at that premium, the manufacturer is able to move higher than expected volume. So there is a lot of underlying strength in that way market as prices continue to move higher despite the CME running into some resistance at that 40 cent level and EPSR still gaining strength. And then lastly, a real feel good story, non fat 121.29. Let's call that a plus three to the CME one week average of 118.33. Manufacturer able to call a nice price. And we'll even call this respectable volume, almost 17 and a half million pounds. So manufacturer able to call a good price on relatively respectable volume. So this is week 205 for the December pricing cycle, currently getting December class 3, 16, 11, December class 4, all the way up at 19, 18. If you carry current CME equivalents out through the entirety of the four week January pricing cycle, currently getting January class 3, 16 even. January class 4, 18.75. We'll see what they have in store for us in the weeks to come. Until then, on behalf of Paige and the entire EverAg Insights team, I'm Joe. Thanks. Bye-bye.